in all disciplines if you notice technology keeps on improving the equipment used to do certain things yesterday they were cutting with a knife today is a laser yeah. Yesterday they were cutting with a knife, today is a laser. Yeah. Hmm. Modern. <laughs> you kept see, keep saying, give me that old time religion. But don't give it to me in the old time way. <laughs> give me the old time religion, but make it modern equipment. Yeah, yeah. We can't use the Islam that was given to Prophet Muhammad in the way it is understood by the average Muslim scholar. We can't use that. That's not modern enough equipment to move us at a fast enough pace to do what God wants us to do today. That's why you that go backward and you think you're going forward, Mm. into what you call Islamic orthodoxy you go from a fast pace back to the moon walk brother <laughs> when we look at you you just standing still yeah. doing nothing yeah. learning how to pray and speak Arabic but moving toward the goal of liberation you far behind yeah. hey. You need modern equipment that will quicken your pace. And the modern equipment is the modern, up-to-date understanding of Islam. So now with modern equipment, you're walking 3,000 feet per minute. That's a heck of a pace. 3,000 feet covered in a minute, Doc, is moving. And the man got 3,000 by 2,000 miles. He got to cover all of America, and he got to move with speed. Big field awaits the wide awake man. You can't make it if you're going to hold back your prayer for some vain purpose. Pray for nothing. I have uh, God, can you help me get some Reeboks? <laughs> God, don't trouble God for no Nike or Reeboks, brother. Don't trouble God for some little cheap thing. When God wants to make you ruler over that which once ruled you. Yeah. You're troubling God for some fur coat. God, I seen some shoes at I Magnum. I sure want them. God help me to get them. God, I saw this Cadillac. Lord, it's the finest looking. I got to have that Cadillac, God. Open the way for me, God, to get this Cadillac. How can you compare I Magnum, Saks Fifth Avenue, Cadillac, Gucci? with liberation, freedom, and a nation of your own. Yeah. Why don't you ask God for something that will prove that God is God? Yeah. You don't need God to get some Reeboks or Nikes. Just work a little harder. Yeah. But you need God to overcome the white man. Now you better pray for that one. You need God to come into ownership of land and a country for your people. 
You need God to overcome fear and cowardice and ignorance. Why not call on God and ask him for something? No cheap prayer. My prayer. My sacrifice. What are you willing to give to see the day when the God, plural, take the devil, plural, into hell? Yes. I'm ready to give all that I have and all within my power to see that day when we, the God, yes. under the guidance of the Lord of the world, yes. can take the devil into a well-earned and deserved hell. Yes, sir. Huh? Look now, your prayer, your sacrifice, your life, what you got now, brother, you don't have nothing. God owns our life. Here's a life that wasn't doing nothing. He's the maker, therefore he's the owner. You didn't hear me? Yes, sir. Why the, why the maker and not the creator? Mm-hmm. See, when you make something, you take a created thing and refashion it into something that makes you the owner of it. We take paper or a wood pulp. We turn it into paper. You've taken the created thing, turned it into a made thing that got your stamp on it. Do you follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Here you are like dust. We are like nothing in the white man's world. Here comes God. He says, I'll make something out of you. We come to him as dust. He starts shaping us and makes a man. Well, who owns the man that he made? Hmm. Listen. I'm owned. I belong to somebody. Yeah. Hmm. Who you belong to? Whose name is on me? Yeah. Hey. Come on. I was Walcott. That meant I belonged to somebody named Walcott. Yes. Till I got an ex. Yes. I threw off the shackle of Walcott. Now I want to be owned by God. Now I wear God's name. He owns me. He owns you too. Whether you got an ex or a holy name or a slave name, God is the owner. Well, then why not acknowledge he got the right to own you. He got the right to tell you what to do and to make you into something. He wants to make you a lion, make you a god, make you fearless again and put you back on the throne. What the hell is wrong with you that you don't want to come back to God and let God make something out of you?